Yo, Yoba! What the fuck is up, everybody? Welcome to the motherfucking first episode of the Yoba Cast. What the fuck is up, everybody? I gotta say hello to everybody in the chat. I really appreciate you guys being here. What's up, Desert Fox, Kaiser Rev, Joe Schmo, Hookie Pookie, Sailor Cag, Fed Nigga, Funny Valentine, James is Young Flopper. Holy shit, so many people in here. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh, 440 people just waiting in the chat. Happy 4th of July, everybody! Welcome to the first episode of YobaCast! Let's fucking go! Woo! Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so happy we're here. What's up, Dalton in chat, Cancel Proof in chat, Shoddy Respector, Sneedy Feedy, Twitter sucks. So many epic Epic fucking people, douchebag, Colado Nick, what's up, General Zoomer, God of Conquest, too many people to name, Homo Trollius, thank you guys so fucking much for all the support lately, we've absolutely been blowing up, and I am so happy to be here with you on the first episode of YobaCast. We are here with an amazing guest who I'm going to introduce here in one second, make sure to share this stream. Make sure to follow on Cozy.tv. A huge shout out to fucking Nick Fuentes and the Cozy team for hosting on, us on Cozy.tv exclusively. Thank you so much to Nick and the Cozy team. Let's give it up. Woo! So, real quick before we get into the show, like I said, make sure you're following on Cozy.tv slash Baked Alaska and Telegram t.me slash baked alaska our sponsor for today whoa would you look at that we have two brand new shirts we have the ultra yoba duck butt shirt just released today for fourth of july on this nation's independence day and we also have the limited edition yoba neon shirt 2022 it's at yoba.live You just type in yoba.live in your browser. Mods, if you could put that in the chat. This is only available for a limited time, okay? And we will be announcing new merch every episode on YobaCast. This is the first limited edition run of the Ultra Yoba Duck Butt shirt and the Yoba Neon shirt. So check it out, yoba.live. Let's fucking go. And we're going to get right into the show now. Yoba.live. Thank you, guys. Dude, this is so awesome. So maybe this makes a little more sense now, too, uh, with the colors. Now you see the overlay. I hope you guys appreciate all the work I've been putting into this shit because I've been wanting to do this, honestly, for a long, long time. And I was actually thinking of this many, many months ago, and I was thinking, like, who should I have as my first guest? You know, who would make the most sense? Who would be fucking epic You know, because it's the first episode. It's got to be a fucking legendary Yoba cast. I can't just bring on anybody here. (laughs) I got to bring on the best of the fucking best. Someone who's intertwined with my lore. Someone who is an absolute internet legend. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's welcome to Yoba cast, Ethan motherfucking Ralph. Let's go. Welcome to the show, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank What's you, up, sir. Dude? I have to say, it's been a pleasure, and yeah. I've talked about this on Twitter already. Of course, we have a long history, but yeah, uh, man, <laughs> do we? <laughs> well, right, exactly. But yeah. man, you have been a, a gracious host, and just all Thank around, you. and. You know, when you read some of this psychotic stuff from certain people, and then you actually hang out with somebody in person, it's just, like, totally different. You know what I mean? Of course, I didn't believe this shit already, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, So, yeah, thank you for having me on. Of course, Killstream. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, People are saying audio stuff. Uh Oh, Oh, wait. Hold up, hold up. Are you coming from camp? Oh, oh wait! Oh, that, no, that might be your camera. Yeah, it's. Too oh bad. wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Wait, I think there I fixed it. Now nah, I think you fixed it now too. Oh my gosh, yo! Wait, yeah. I think I fixed it. It was. What? It was yeah. the guest cam. Yeah, you okay, got it. Okay, wait, you chat. It. Let me know. Let me know if it's. They said scuffed audio. I know there's a nah, little bit. It should good be now. good now. It's good now. It Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Ralph A. 
Hey, we got we got the Ralph Mail energy in here. So thank you, chat. See, it's so good that we have the motherfucking live chat to tell us. It's true. Hey, no, you were you. Were, we got Yoba Tech in the chat. We're so <laughs> bad. We're so fucking bad. Yeah, no, I I got another camera. I I had to get you know basically double everything. Sure. And so I guess the camera audio was on. I didn't even realize. Well, people don't understand it's all fixed, really. Yeah. It's, I mean, and again, it's better than digging dishes or whatever. Right. Uh, but <laughs> it's like the shit is yeah. kind of complicated. Yeah. Uh, with how you want to set it up, especially you. Uh, um, you know, I see lights and stuff, right. you know, different colors. It looks yeah. great, by the way. Thank uh, you. But that's a different, <laughs> it's a whole <laughs> s- separate can of worms, basically. Yeah. So uh, thank you for having me on. Thank I've you. had a great time yeah. here. You've been a great host. Welcome to Tampa, uh, man. <laughs> and it's been great all the way around. Yeah. So thank you. So, yeah. And first thing I want to say, by the way, is listen, this is the first episode of Yoba Cast. I am trying so hard to get, you know, every single production thing perfect. But guess what? You know, it's not going to be perfect sure. on the first episode. I'm going to have to adjust some angles, some lighting, blah, blah, blah. But I think this looks pretty fucking good. I think it's high quality. We got a, you know, dual camera setup. We got professional mics. We got lighting and all that shit. We got new overlays. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to get right into the motherfucking show. And honestly, like, I just want to say, like, Ralph is just a fucking legend. Like, you came onto the scene a while ago. We're going to get into that. But it's like you are, like, the fucking center of the internet right now. Can we can we talk about that real quick before we go into your history? So, you know, I guess um, the last couple of years, I, I would date it back to two years ago. Uh-huh. Um, not that there weren't always, you know, crazy fuckers, you know, coming at me or whatever. But two years ago, it, it really started up hardcore um and it kind of changed the dynamic a little bit of what i'm doing um not that it like changed my shows or anything Mm. um but when you know you have a psychotic (laughs) army you know what i mean like following you every day yeah um i mean you would be a liar if you're saying you didn't pay attention to that uh, um because i do um and almost you know sometimes it it gets to be fun to kind of to use a wrestling term, <laughs> uh, to work these kind of people. Yeah. Well, speaking uh, of wrestling, yeah. you got the Hulkamania shirt yeah. right there. Yeah. And we got in person, by the way, at the Hulk Hogan at shop. The actual we have to go back because I yeah. want to see Hulkster myself. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I bought this at the Hulk Hogan shop. Um, but I mean, I guess it kind of changed a couple of years ago um, where you're always, I mean, I, so I started off blogging, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you didn't always do face cam, right? That, no, that was like more of no, a recent thing, right? That's right. Um, and also, um, so I, I guess I was one of those people who, who tried to, you know, keep it separate a little bit. You do yeah. your blogging, you do this or that. When you um, started, like, just curious, like when you started, did you know, like it would blow up this no, big and no, you have these no, crazy no, stalkers no. and this following? You know what? <laughs> not only did I yeah. not know. So when I started, it was at the start of Gamergate. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's so, right. um, I had a website already, the Ralph which uh-huh. I still have. And I was left wing back then. Okay. And so, you know, I was, I was watching the game. I was left wing, but I was anti-feminist. Right. Uh, and anti-radical feminist. So I, I was still reading Kotaku and all these sites. And, and when Gamergate happened, I said, okay, well I have this website here and you know, I'm left wing. There were not many left wing supporters <laughs> uh, of Gamergate at that time. Right. And so that's how I kind of got involved. Now, I wouldn't consider myself left wing now, right. uh, you know, with where things are at. <laughs> uh, not that yeah. I've like totally renounced everything, uh, but I mean, the left wing has gotten even more garbage right. uh, since then. So at, at that time, though, it was okay. I'm a left wing guy. There are no people other than Breitbart and a couple other places, you know, Milo, et cetera, supporting Gamergate, period. And so that's how I got into all this, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I remember the first time I saw your name was actually with Milo. So yeah. h- how did you meet Milo? How did that all so happen? I, so I was following the Gamergate stuff like a, like a normie or like a regular fan, however you want to call it. And, um, you know, I learned of Milo through that. Um, and... I eventually started writing my own my own post and, yeah. and stuff about Gamergate, excuse me. Yeah. Um, and so 
he took notice of me. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> there were not that many people writing pro gamer gay stuff, yeah. honestly. Um, so he took notice of me. He started promoting my stuff. Internet aristocrat, who is Mr. Medic. Medicare. Medicare. Today. Oh, uh, no. So they were all no promoting gem. my shit. And um, yeah. that's how I got known. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, you know, that brings us sort of the next part is, and I, that's why I found it so appropriate for you to be on the first episode is because, so you actually sort of got your claim to fame from it's taking true. shots at, at Yoba. This is before Yoba existed, but right. So it's true. So yeah. what happened? We, and, you know by, what? and by the way, we're, we, we we're are, cool now. We're cool. Yeah. We're yeah. not going to start. I, I don't give a Obviously fuck. we're not going to like, I don't even blame you too, because it's like, you had all these people, you know, the, the bigger than you saying, Hey, well, you know, let's take shots at this guy, blah, blah, blah. So you know what? I want to talk about it honestly, sure, let's because do it. Uh, of course we're completely cool now. Yeah. No problem. This guy <laughs> let me drive his car yeah, around earlier. So you know what? Yeah. If we weren't cool, yeah. like, uh, like yeah. you know what? I don't let people even now sometimes that I'm cool with drive yeah. my car well, around. I, so, I, gave, I gave him the so, keys. Like, I'm like, I that hope was the a car big comes deal. back. <laughs> that was a big deal, dude. Like when yeah. I saw that, I was like, holy shit. Whatever. Um, um, <laughs> so, um, but you know what? At the time, so I didn't know Bake that well. Yeah. Um, he had made an app or was involved with an app on the App Store. Was and, it the uh, Trump game? Yeah. Build the wall? Yeah. Yeah. And so you made an app and <laughs> it got deleted. It got thrown yeah. off the App Store. Right. And I remember I did Oh, it. yeah. You wrote a blog post yeah. about that. Yeah. So I, and not only did I write a blog post, but I talked to you for oh, like, for like right. 20 or 30 minutes. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, I, but we didn't know each other yeah. that well, but we talked to each wow. other and, and you were nice and yeah. there was no problems. Okay. And so then I went to jail. <laughs> I went to jail after that. Right. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I went to jail, right. and then when I got out, uh, I'd already known about the internet blood sports blowing up because my right. ex-wife was telling me about it and everything. And so when I got out, I mean, it wasn't that long, too. It was like a week or two after I got out. I started writing my blog posts and trying to catch back up and let's get the kill stream going. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, well, I, I'm reading the chat. Some people are like, jail? Some people don't even know no, about they that. don't know. I went to jail yeah. for eight months. So eight I, months, I, yeah. I went to jail, and I came out, and... And Jim Medeker, <laughs> Jim August Augustine, hey, hey, Augustine, yeah. whatever you want to call him. By, wait, hold up. We might be getting swatted here. I'm getting a call. Hold up. I wouldn't doubt that. Let me. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that. Hold up. Sounds like Jim. Hello. I have a deputy. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Hold up. Um. <laughs> can I help you? Yeah, we're, we're getting another call that somebody there shot with a rifle. Uh, no, I, I'm I'm literally filming a live podcast right now. Yeah, we're good. Um. I mean, you can come over if you want, but... Yeah, we'll still come by to check it out. And I have That's a bunch fine. of names listed in my notes. Who okay. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Tim Gionet. Okay. Yep. All right, we'll come by. I'm going to give you a call back once we're outside. And if sure. If you come outside and meet us, I'd appreciate it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I can do that, sir. All right, thank All right. you. All right, bye-bye. That's hilarious. Wow. You know that? You knew it was going to happen, honestly. Uh, dude, like, like, before we started the show, I was literally going to say, what's the over-under, like, how many... Fucking bands. Well, you know, here's the thing, though, is the sheriffs in my town in Clearwater are actually really fucking cool. They, they know what's going. They they called my cell. You saw that? They're like, yeah, we got another spot to call. So they got to come over, and I'll have to, you know, Ralph will have to take the show for a little bit. But I'll handle it. I done, mean, I, 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 I think it's only right, you know, we, we give a little tribute real quick to the uh, boys in blue. What do you think? <laughs> Love hate relationship with the cops, by the way. We love Me too. Yeah. Some of them we love, some of them we love. Not so much. So. We love our military. They're important. And when I'm in the jam, when I'm in the jam, I know that I can't call up the man, can't call up the man with the plan. When I'm on the run, when I'm on the run. Okay, we gotta sing it one time, Ralph. Together. Come on. Call nine one one. Thank you 
so much, guys. That is awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, the cops around here are really fucking cool. I, I love the sheriffs. Like, they, they know what the deal is and all that. Um, let's see. Oh, I'll say so. Yeah, go ahead. So when that happened, and I got out of the joint, quite frankly, you know, jail. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'd never had any bad relationships with bait before. Uh, like I said, we, we talked to each other and did the interview before when I got out, the blood sports stuff was popping off. And a lot of my people said, Hey, this is like you, yeah. right? Like the whole blood sports thing <laughs> yeah. is you, right? Like, why yeah. don't you get in on it? Right. And I was like, yeah, good idea. And, um, you know, I started doing that and increasing the number of days. My show went per week from one to right. three to five. Uh-huh. Um, and then all of a sudden, Medicare started some shit like, oh, Baked is deleting people out of his <laughs> chat. And, uh, right. and to be honest, I jumped yeah. on that, too. Like, right. it was like, OK, let's tear somebody down. But looking back, uh, yeah. it was just the same faggot. Like I said, uh, I don't I don't even blame you because you didn't really know all the information. Yeah, you, I mean we didn't know each other. I mean, looking <laughs> looking at Excuse it me. now, I mean, you know, I, I don't I don't kill myself over it, but like you see these same people attacking me and making up shit right. and trying to ruin people's lives. All the while yeah. they talk about life ruination. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so yeah, it does I, um, it makes me more mad at myself, not yeah. in, I gotta at get I'm sorry, else. I, I gotta no, the, it's fine. the cops are calling That's you, fine. Go talk to him, okay. man. It's you, fine. You I'll it? talk to him. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'll kick it to the audience, no problem. Um, but that that was that was really my main problem with it. Um just the falsity of it. Um, the fact that these people don't believe anything they say. They just have people they don't like and they want to tear them down. By the way, I'll tell you this. I have people I don't like that I want to tear down, but I'm not dishonest about it. I'm saying I don't like this person. I want to tear them down. <laughs> you understand? Like, I don't feel like that's unethical to say, here's somebody I don't like. I'm going to present negative facts about them, right? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, w- w- what's wrong is lying. Or or maybe you have a bunch of negative facts and you just can't help but add on some lies. Like, that. that is the shit that I just can't stand. I mean, especially, you know, I'm talking about myself, but, you know, there are some things that <laughs> I wish didn't happen, right? Or some bad things that... I wish I could take back and, you know, I, I, I would think that there's a lot of material that you could use without faking the deal, but apparently faking the deal is just more fun or more popular. I don't really know uh, because it's just really annoying and weird. Let's see, I'm looking at the chat here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sigmund, I appreciate that. Sigismund, I don't know if I said that right, but I tried. So it's just me here now. We're going to get baked back in here. Of course, we knew we would get swatted, so it's not that big of a deal. I would have done the sunrise today. I was up, by the way, in time to do the show, but I just thought it would be more special if I popped up on bake show first, you know what I mean, rather than, rather than my own. And so the whole reason I came down here was to hang out with Baked anyway and do his show. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I did miss the sunrise today, though. I'm not going to lie because I had like I had like 10 stories ready to go. So I did kind of miss the sunrise because I'm so used to the sunrise being like my go off session and just get everything off your chest type session. So I did I did miss it a little bit after, I have to say. Uh, so we're sitting here baked. I think he's talking to the police uh, because they swatted us or whatever. So I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. I can't actually see the chat. I see it on the screen. Let me see if I can bring it up on my phone. Let's see here. So I apologize if it's not quite as on point as it usually is. Let's see. Shout out, Bates. For some reason, it's not working on my phone. I don't really know why. Swatted already? Yeah, we were swatted like, t- I don't know, five or ten minutes ago. So he's out there talking to the police right now. 
Honestly, it's funny, but it's also, I mean, of course, just annoying. It's like, what the fuck? We weren't even doing anything. <laughs> it's like, we were sitting here streaming. We weren't even talking shit about anybody. It's like, dude, we we're sitting here streaming. What the fuck is your problem? I don't know. This shit. It is crazy. It's like, dude, I'm sitting here streaming. I'm not even talking about you faggots. Can you leave me alone, please? Like, what the fuck is your problem? It's fucking crazy. It's like, oh, okay. I did nothing to you. I don't even know who you are. Like, I, you know what? I understand, like, somebody like Gator, even somebody like Metafag. It's like, okay, I've known these people for years. They don't like me. They're mad about something that I did. They're faggots, don't get me wrong, but at least they have a reason. You know you know what I mean? Like, at least they have a semi-justified reason to be a faggot. <laughs> and then you watch these other people. It's like they have no reason for this whatsoever. Oh, yeah. See, Dalton, man, by the way, Dalton's a great, a great guy. Um, and he's another guy who they've tried to, like, make me not like, which is ridiculous. Because I don't put any stock in this internet bullshit. I put stock in seeing people, talking to people in real life. But this is a guy who they who I already liked, by the way, and already said he's a great guy. But they try to turn it into something negative. And it's like, you guys are fucking faggots all the <laughs> way around. By the way, Bake's back now. Well, so. Yeah, it's uh, they they haven't come yet. By the way, oh, so they're still in the way. Okay. Yeah, so I, I was just gonna check in here. What's up, guys? Sorry, we're dealing with a swatting live on the Yoba Cast first episode. I mean, I kind of figured these faggots would do that. Uh, what's up, Brittany? What's up, Dom? <laughs> Um, so I if mean, Brittany shows her tits, that would make up for it. Oh, wait, what'd she do? What's what? I'm the, saying, if what she, happened? I'm saying, if she showed that, that what, would actually wait, what would that make up for? That would make up for everything in the history of the world. Oh, okay, yeah, if maybe she showed her tits, yeah. make up for the swatting and all yeah. that. Yeah, well, yeah. it's a possibility, but uh, we'll have to wait for that episode. We'll have <laughs> yes. to wait. We'll have to wait. <laughs> oh, no, uh. We love we love politically provoked. Great show, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. Yo, and Bibbles in chat, dude. We we've been having so many great uh streamers on Cozy. We got Kumia UX in the chat. What's up, guys? What's up, dudes? Um, we love politically provoked for sure. Yeah. For sure. I can see myself loving it even more. You 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 you, uh, you love yeah, you love yeah. her personality, right? It's yeah. uh so it's too got a great personality mind. sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I want to keep getting into this show, but it's like, I got to wait for the cops to come over real quick. <laughs> so it's like, what the fuck? Because they called me. They said, hey, come outside. And I'm like, okay, I, I went outside for five minutes. We're not here yet. So it's like, yeah, but um, hey, well, real quick, how are you enjoying Tampa, Ralph? I like, love you Tampa. Know, you know what? You're on I'll, vacation here. So you know what? You're I'll, at the Yoba Mansion. How are you liking so it? So I already love Tampa. <laughs> I, ca I came down here. Yeah. Um, yeah. For Dick Masterson's oh, that's event right. that he had. And I think it was late 2020, right? Right. Um, and he had a, a road rage here, and I loved it. Ybor yeah. City, I love. Yeah. Um, and oh, we so, know yeah, Ybor. <laughs> I love this whole. I love this whole place. Yeah, honestly. it's pretty yeah. cool, right? Pretty, yeah. pretty fucking hot right now, though. It's a little toasty outside. <laughs> you know what? I'm from Memphis, yeah. and I'm used. I'm. I'm. Oh, used you're to, used to the humidity. So, but yeah. you know what? I'm used to telling people, "Oh, you're a bitch." You know what <laughs> I mean? Humidity. <laughs> but Dude. when you come down here, it's like equal to Memphis yeah. or more. I, I, yeah. I, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to see if we like it. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get the cops to sit in my chair? Yeah, and, and like just say hello to the chat. That that would be legendary. So I agree. Let's do I, it. I, I'm gonna ask them, you know, because uh, they might need to check out this room. I'm you know? down. Yeah, <laughs> tell them they might need to check this out yeah. just in case. Yeah, I'll try to bring them in here. We'll see. They they should be in here in a little bit. Oh, also, by the way. Sorry, we were a little late. Um, my AC went out today. Like, of course it happens, you know, right before the overcast, the fucking AC went out and it's like, what the fuck? But now it looks, it seems like it's working a little bit again. I think it's fine. It's a little cooler yeah. than it was, yeah. Yeah, so I think, but we are going to have someone check it out tomorrow because it is hot as a motherfucker outside. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to get fixed tomorrow. Come on, cops. Where are you? <laughs> are they even going to come? 
Let's see. Oh, and and by the way, like um, I'm gonna ask you this question, and then I'm gonna go outside to sure. see the cops one That's last fine. time. I'll talk to you. Um, what do you think about this whole, you know, this whole Chicago shooter? Um, apparently, I'll show you this. This is the um, identity. If you want to see this, it's like some like gangster over here. Check this uh, out. Yeah, yeah, it looks like yeah. a real. It looks like a Kiwi Farms poster. It's like a Hispanic like. Yeah. Face tatted dude, like okay, kill so, him. I don't give a fuck. I mean, you know what? Do you Put think him this is jail. real? Nah. Do you think false you know, flag? Like, what are you thinking? Well, again, you know what? Even if I thought it was false flag, I wouldn't come on this show <laughs> <laughs> and say it. Uh, but but I'll say not necessarily. Really, do I even think it was a false flag? Um, I think that a lot of faggots just go around looking for excuses to shoot people. Um, and I think he's a faggot. And he belongs in hell. So I don't. I, I. I mean, I really don't know what else to say. Like, I don't know the full, you know, rundown as far as the shooting. I just know there were seven dead in a suburb of Chicago, basically. Um, I don't really have any respect for mass shooters ever, um, even if it was a mass shooter that. Um, and this is not one of those people, by the way, but I'm, I'm just saying, even if there was a mass shooter, I'm not saying they exist. I'm just saying, even if there was one that like knocked off every checklist that I wanted to knock off, they're faggots, dude. If you, if you fucking ruin your whole life of shooting somebody, you're an idiot. Like, I don't know what to tell you unless it's, I can make an exception if it like directly impacted your life. And you decide to kill somebody or whatever, um, but even then, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm being a rational actor. Like I just don't. It, it's it's not. Uh, it, there's nothing noble about that, really at all, in my opinion. So um, maybe you take qualms with that, but uh, it's not really my. It's not really my thing. Um, I, I just... By the way, I'm looking at chat here. Oh, I'm looking at Joba, yeah. too, at the same time. But, yeah, I've said that before on my show, so <laughs> it's not really breaking news. You Did never you know. What? Did you talk to him? No, still still nothing. Still nothing. Um, so I, I, I'm just going to go on with the show, and then they, they're going to have to call me because this is ridiculous. Um, so... What's up, Chad? We got 650 people in here. Thank you so much. Amazing, amazing first episode of Yoba Cast. Um, you know, maybe maybe we should do this just just to pay a little tribute to to our buddy. You know, when Medicare got swatted, he was shilling his That's merch. Right. You know, sure. so I, I think it'd only be fair if we. It's only fair. We babe. shared Come on, the man. Uh, we shilled the Yoba dot live brand new Yoba merch, guys. Ah. We got the Ultra Yoba Duck Butt shirt and the Yoba Neon shirt. Mods, if you could put that in the chat, that's going to be Yoba.live in your browser. Buy the shirt or you're yeah. a bitch. Or you're a faggot. So, it, I mean, it's pretty fun. What do you think, Ralph? You like it? Dude, I love it. <laughs> we got to get you like a... I must say, I want that Yoba yeah, one for real. We yeah. got to get you a Yoba shirt, definitely. So, uh, Yoba.live is the merch store. These just dropped today. And, uh, yeah, let's give it up. Yoba.live. So, anyways, let's get let's get right back into this fucking uh, interview. Thank you, UX. Thank you, everyone in the chat. I really appreciate it. Um, so, Ralph. So, let's see. Where did we? You know, it, it kind of sucks when you're you're in a train of thought and you get swatted. Yeah. These uh, sick motherfuckers. Well, well like, we knew this was gonna happen, yeah. though. But yeah, it is annoying. Well, can we just talk about like what sick fuck just waits for like? Us to launch a show and does this. Like, imagine you're doing that with your free time. Like, what kind of fucking person even does that shit? I don't understand it, really. You know what? I do understand not liking somebody. Right, I do right. understand yeah, yeah, talking shit. You, right, I yeah. do understand. And then maybe every once in a while you see them coming on air and you talk yes. shit or whatever. That makes sense with the whole... Let me dedicate my life to hating uh, Lake or hating Ralph. Like, yeah. that makes no sense. Sorry, speaking of, they're calling me again. Hello? Oh, you're out front. It's okay. fine. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll take out. care of it. I yeah, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about yeah. it. I'm just going to leave it on this screen. That's <laughs> so funny. Holy shit. Just me and Baked sitting here. Like, there was no revelations or... 
like we didn't have a plan for, oh, we're about to tell this shit you never knew about tonight. It was just, oh, me and Bakes are doing fun shows. Let me go down to Tampa and hang out with Bakes. Like it was no, these people are pathetic, dude. I don't know. I really don't know how else to describe it because they're just really weird and strange people for really no reason whatsoever. And a lot of these people, I mean, quite frankly, would be better served on Cozy than they would on YouTube. Even for somebody like Medicare, I mean, what do you think? He would get better. He would get better in ca- engagement on you on not YouTube, but um, Cozy. He's just yeah, a faggot. You want to say hi to the cops? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello, police officer. How you going? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah. you guys coming by. We're all good. We're all good. Thank you, sir. There's a bunch of cops walking around right there. You can't see them, but they're just wanting to see. Everything's good. Thank you, sir. Happy 4th. Yeah, they look. They legit are here. So You can't see them, but uh, they're actually here. <laughs> Yeah, they're really here. I knew that was going to happen, though, so I didn't, I didn't even get upset. It's like, whatever. Of course, they're going to swat us. <laughs> I'm looking at my phone right now. Oh, no. I say, of <laughs> what did they say, by the way? Um, I'm about yeah. to go to the bathroom, too. Is yeah, that cool? yeah, no, no. Go, go for it. Well, tell, them, tell yeah. them what they said first. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Arrest him! Arrest him! <laughs> that, that's, that's probably like the best meme of the year. That's so good. Dude. Arrest him! <laughs> oh, my God. You, you need a shirt that just says arrest him. I know him. you're right. I with, thought with about that. your face yeah. on it or something, I would buy that. Um, all right, so, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go to the bathroom, but yeah, tell yeah. us what happened first I before I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Um, so, we got swatted on the air. Um, they basically said like, Hey, you know, you like kill, did you kill your girlfriend or some shit with like a shotgun? If I like, no, of course <laughs> not. And, and then the cops are like, have you been having any issues at the house? I'm like, Nope, Nope. And they, they know who I am. So they were like, yeah, same shit and all that. So it's all good. But yeah, I'll let you go to the bathroom here. So what's up chat? We're going to get right back into it. Arrest him. Uh, Bibble said, did the person who made the 911 call start listing off? illnesses that they have from the 1800s what the definitely medicare oh no um i don't know i think it's like like if if i were to guess i think it's someone from uh like overseas probably like probably like i don't know canada or some shit i i think i don't know dude yeah it's exactly it's the well that's the thing the same people that are swatting medicare are swatting me like i i don't want anyone to get swatted including my enemies, obviously, Josh Moon. See, I don't know. I have, I have no fucking clue. All I know is that swatting is fucking gay. Swat, like, Canada is overseas. Well, it's not over the sea. You know what I mean. It's not over the sea, but it's like, you know what I mean. I mean, guys, you know what I mean. It, it has to be a country that isn't the U.S. So the U.K. or some shit, something that is like, you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, chat, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It, it, it's a different fucking universe. It, it's somewhere where the U.S. laws don't fucking apply. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere where the U.S. laws don't fucking apply clearly because they keep getting away with this shit. If this was in the U.S., these motherfuckers would be fucked. They would, and, and hey, maybe they are in the U.S. and maybe they will be fucked. So I don't know. I, I, I hope nothing but the worst for fucking swatters they're fucking scum. Um, you know, it's attempted murder. It's literally attempted murder. And they've swatted everyone from Cozy, all of our friends. It's very unsafe, not cool at all. I don't appreciate it. So um, anyways, we will get right back into the show here. Ralph is entering the studio. <laughs> and we'll get back to this amazing interview with Ethan Ralph in the motherfucking studio. Yo! What's up, Beardson? <laughs> Beardson says, the ralph verse is real. It's other Ralphs <laughs> trying to kill the That's main true. Ralph. So Ralph is back in the studio. That's What's true. up, homie? What's up, brother? Okay, so, you know, 
popping a cold one here. That's, That's how we do it. You know? man, on vacation, on the Yoba yeah, Cast. No, you know, I'm we're not hanging out. Jaya Lama. <laughs> I'm in Ooh, Cigar City, so nice. you know how it goes. Those are yeah. nice, yeah. That, that's actually popular here in Tampa. A lot of Cigar City, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, I want to get more into your story here. We talked a little bit about it before the interruption. But, like, I, I, I want to dig a little bit deeper than you have on, like, other interviews. Like, sure. what is your, like, who has influenced your career? Like, like what motivates you to make content? Like, who do you look up to? Like, when either when you're in your childhood or now? Like, what really fucking inspires Ethan Ralph at the end of the day? You know what? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say as far as, like, anyone individually inspiring me, I don't know that there is an individual specifically. Mm-hmm. Um I, well, besides, I guess, besides but, Hulk Hogan, but I guess right? I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying there are a couple. Yeah, I guess um, you know wrestling does have an influence on how I promote my stuff, and you know how you know like the oh you can't miss this and, and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that, but also tabloids. I grew up loving tabloid yeah. news. To be honest with no, you, no, I was gonna say that because yeah. like in a way that um you know I feel like you're like the right wing TMZ. It's or kind something, of yeah, you know? and it's kind of like that. Yeah. At, at, at first, I like I'll be honest. I really didn't like that shit. I was like, what the fuck is sure. this? And and like. Well, because here's the thing, like you have some of those motherfuckers, like I like a little bit of drama, don't get me wrong, but some motherfuckers take it way too far. And what the fuck? I is heard that? that. Yo, it's a thunderstorm coming. Oh, we yeah. got a thunderstorm. It is a thunder in Tampa. That shit was loud. That was loud. That shit was loud, dude. Yeah. No, it was I just, like somebody banged on his house. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? So yeah, I just got a notification. Thunderstorm. Hey, Ralph and Mail's in Tampa. He brings the motherfucking thunder. Let's go. That's fucking. <laughs> oh damn, that's loud. That shit was loud. That is really loud. loud. You, I mean, you motherfuckers probably heard that, but no, it's it, it. That that's a great point you bring up because it's like I did feel like your shit was like kind of like right wing TMZ, and I was like, sure, I don't like this shit at first because so many people in the drama community or whatever you want to call it just take shit too far and are so, faggots about it. But like as you've matured over the years. I really fucking love your style now. I feel like you found a nice happy medium where you could do something sustainable. Y- your work ethic is incredible. I, and that's why it's funny when all these motherfuckers take shots at you. But I, I'm honestly just like super impressed with what you got going on. So I, I, I want to get in your mind and figure out how well, you, you know came what? up with that. First off, thank you for saying that. Yeah. Um, because, you know, I look at my career and some of the battles I've taken, you know, not every battle, obviously, but some, including yourself, honestly. Right. Um where it's like, okay, I was used for a purpose by other people, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, because I've never really changed my mentality uh, from the start where it's like, well, I'm in this nasty fucking business right. uh, where everybody, you know, attacks people <laughs> openly yeah. and they're they're throwing this shit out. And so who cares? Whatever. Right. Like, that's my job, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but in reality, that gets to be really tough <laughs> to be quite frank with yeah. you guys. Um, and when you take it on everybody and, and you don't really right. have the support, it can, it can be, it can be crazy. So that's one of the things I talked about this year. Um, you know, of course I have the people going after me, but it could have been way different without mm-hmm. people like Yoba, without yeah. people like, you know, cozy in general and, yeah. and Nick Fuentes. And yeah. if those people had said, fuck Ralph, and fuck him. You know what? I'm tired of this guy. Fuck that fat fuck. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. I mean, that would have been yeah. a different story. So, honestly. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like you kind of, like, would lose your mind if, sure. if you're in this world and, you know, everyone's backstabbing everyone. And that's why, like, I'm saying I, I like where your career has gone, yeah. where, where it feels like, okay, you've made some friends, like. You know, there's you a little fig- more truth you to figure it. Figure out Honestly, who's loyal yeah. and who's gonna have your back. Well, the and thing all that. is, you can sit yeah. here and attack everybody till the end of days, right? Yeah. Like I could sit here and say, "Fuck, babe. even yeah. when I went home, I could go and <laughs> yeah. say, "You know what? Fuck this guy," yeah, yeah. right? Like, because people, there's a market for that, right? Um, there's a market for you know what? Everybody's a piece of shit. Fuck everybody, right. and um, that's just not the case. Like, you know what? I'll, I'll talk, you know, just in truth. I mean, we're on air, but off air type <laughs> style. Yeah. 
this guy let me drive his car around town, let me yeah. go around and do what I wanted to do. Can you imagine? Like, honestly, I don't let everybody drive my fucking car around. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, um, that's kind of a big deal to me. Like, you know, like, just the whole, he's just a great host. Thank you. I mean, the things they throw at Baked is they're actually ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like appreciate that, he's, he's just a normal guy. And he's, of course he's a content creator. He's like yeah. me and like everybody else. He wants to make good stuff. Um, but, but you look at the record and it's like, Oh, this is just some guy they fucking slandered for no reason because he was encroaching on their own audience. Right. Um, and you know, at the time I was along with it too. Like, I don't want to sit here and lie about my own <laughs> record, but yeah. I didn't really know any better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, okay, well, fuck, this is who they're attacking. By the way, there's a ton of people like this baked yeah. where they don't really know any better. There's just yeah. like, oh, okay, here's who, who's, <laughs> here's who Medicare is attacking. Let yeah. me go after well, them. Well, I feel like that's the majority of yeah. Medicare's fans. They just go along with the narrative. It's like, ah, oh, attack this person, yeah. attack versus this. Right. You know, and it's just, it's just retarded. But, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, what you are doing, like, you have an actual fucking show. You know, you have Tequila Sunrise. You have the kill stream. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, the, the, the sunrise has really grown on me. Like, I love when I wake up, you know, a little late. And I just turn on the sunrise, listen to it in bed. It's so fucking cozy. I don't know how you do it. But, like, you know, you've been a huge inspiration to me as far as, like, doing an actual show. And here we are in Yobacast, of course. And, you know, much more to come. But it's like... You are, you know, the content king right now. Like, I straight up will say it. You put together an amazing show. I love your studio shows. Um, you know, you do IRL now and then, but that's not what I watch you for. I love when you're in the studio. It's it's like old school radio. It's uncensored. You don't give a fuck. You'll say whatever. You'll go after whoever. Like, we need more fucking shit like that in this country. Everything is so boring. Like, and it's like... I'm not, I'm not trying to bump up your ego, but it's I like after it. I watch Sunrise, I'm like, I don't really find other shit entertaining, you know, aside from like Nick's show and Beardson and, you know, Dalton. Honestly. Couple, you know, it's like we have the best content here and you're really like leading the way with the whole like entertainment. I appreciate you shit. saying that. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you know. I'm biased, uh, but, <laughs> yeah. I, but I love what you just said. Yeah. Um, and the fact of the matter is uh, we have a hell of a team at yeah. Cozy. No, we do. Uh, and so you sit here and you, and you think about these people filling the gaps and you think about the experience people have or don't have. Me and Bates have been around for a decade almost. Yeah. Um, and that's a great thing. Uh, you know what I mean? Dalton, all these other people are coming up like – they're feeding off us. We're feeding off them. Like, it's a great thing all the way around. And I really can't stress enough how important Cozy is. Like, it, you know what? If there was no Cozy, mm -hmm. I'd be... And by the way, Odyssey, I still use Odyssey. Yeah. I'm not going to shit on it completely. But let's be real. If that was my only fucking outlet, that would be a problem. <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> yeah. um, but just imagine a place where there is no Odyssey. There is no Cozy either. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, it could be even worse. Yeah. Uh, and so these people who are, you know, biased in one way or the other, I, I understand. Yeah. But me and Bake, like, mm -hmm. me and him are two <laughs> warriors, honestly. Yeah. Like, he sits here and talks about... <laughs> you know what we've been through honestly yeah. like for and against each other yeah but you look at now and you look at what cozy has and you look at what anybody else has and it's <clears throat> it's not impressive like right. we are actually doing some great things at cozy Dutch yeah Army. no i i even like turned on like twitch and like different streams and i, I like that shit is boring like it's it sucks. it's rare that i'll find a stream anywhere that i find entertain entertaining aside from cozy uh, you know, the production quality is only going up, you know, and like what I want to say is like, I hope Cozy, you know, continues to grow to the size of like a Twitch or a YouTube. Like, what do you think about that? Because you've been in the tech so, sphere for I mean, a while. I'll be honest, yeah. it's not going to go. It, it yeah. won't be that big um, because somebody will. I mean, some well, dude will I mean, shut it down. Right. I mean, down. Right. I mean, I mean, I mean <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> well, uh, but you I mean, never know. You honest. never know because there's. I, I do think it's going to continue to grow. We got new streamers well, coming so on. I'll put a caveat. And, and there's, I was telling you, remember off stream, there's a thirst for uncensored fucking content. But see, where else can you fucking find shit where you can say faggot and you can say whatever the fuck you I want? I agree. So everything you said with, I just, yeah. I agree with. Yeah. But I will say, I mean, 
you know as well as I do, um, at a certain point, <laughs> they will come around, right? Like, that's that's how it goes. But we're, we're also getting smarter. We're getting no, I agree. smarter. And, and if you we, look we at the platform. backups and... Uh, I don't yeah. want them to come around. Believe yeah. me. Like, I'm not saying that in a good way. Well, don't you think there's a potential maybe for a big streamer that gets banned, you know, because yeah, Destiny came over or, you know, whoever that could really be a huge star for Cozy and really pump up the whole side. I mean, yeah, look, look, look at DLive. Or like, DLive had PewDiePie, et cetera. Like, I, I personally think, you know, it's still in beta. I think there's so much growth opportunities for Cozy, like, it just the danger for Cozy me. is, and of course I'm part of Cozy, and yep. you know it is what it is. But just taking myself out right, of right, the right. equation, yeah. The danger for Cozy is just absolute um, web domain and pros- web processing death. death they basically. seem to have that like on right. Lock, well, they seem like, to really have the well, web domain yeah. part figured out. Yeah. Um, and so the 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 bank processing thing is another thing. And of course, I support Cozy. I love Cozy. Yeah. I love Nick Fuentes. I love Hell all yeah. these people. And so it's not like me trying to start shit. Well, I'm we, just saying we it's gotta, just a big deal. We got to so. pray for the best, definitely. And like, yeah, I the, love the Cozy. Thing is, I, I support God that. can do impossible things. Like it may yeah. seem like, of course, yeah, we got so many hurdles. And I'm struggles, just saying there but, are. Yeah. <laughs> there are hurdles and there will be yeah. people trying to shut us down. That's yeah. all I'm saying. We're I'm not keep trying going. to throw shade. I We're going to keep clear. going regardless. Yeah. Everyone yeah. here on Cozy. I just want to be clear and, uh, that I'm not trying to yeah, no, no, dampen no, sure. things. Actually, yeah. you know, if you look at what Cozy's done, it's in less than a year, it's yeah. incredible. Really actually, incredible, it's yeah. fucking incredible. It's and nuts. you look at people like Worski who had his own child yeah. killed. Uh, <laughs> and, Boo! And, you, and you look at, you, you look at uh, PPP uh, who no. had a son homosexual relationship. Oh, no. Wait, uh, can, can you tell us about that? I well, don't really know, you know about he's, that. he got thrown out of his church because oh, he liked to get fucked no. up the ass. Uh, so, oh, you know, no. All right, like, oh, so. no. Oh, the shots are coming out. Get him another beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Felt it. No. Oh, I didn't mean to say oh, that. No. Oh, shit. But, okay. Uh, Once you fucking fuck pussy? You know what? That guy's <laughs> never touched pussy in his life. You know what? I will put that. You know what? I have on this show, I have $1,000 I will put down. Uh, let's go. I have $1,000. $1,000, ladies and gentlemen. $1,000 that I will put Here down. Here on the Overcast. <laughs> There's no way he's ever touched pussy. Uh, like. No. By the way, oh, God. It would be different <laughs> if it was like an incel or somebody just said, yeah. you know what? Fuck bitches. Right. Because I completely understand that. But if this <sighs> is a guy who... Who his argument was, oh, I fuck pussy. Oh. It's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's like this guy got famous from spreading his asshole open on the internet. It's like, wow, you know, good job, buddy. He doxes my Catholic priest. He's a piece of shit. I mean, it, it, this is sort of a Yoba's been told you moment. Like, you know I, what? I'm a little bit ahead of the curve. You know but what? People will catch. I, I want to <laughs> say this. I want to say this because yeah. Um, yeah. I think that. Baked is, is, is such, like, he's such an entertainer, basically. Thank you. And he's he's such a fun guy. Um, that I think it's it's used against him in some respects, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, this guy's just having fun. This guy's just making comedy. Or, <laughs> or, or he's doing yeah. a good thing. Fuck him. He must yeah, work yeah, for the yeah. feds, right? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. it's that kind even, of thing. Even though I'm exposing feds <laughs> yeah. like Ray Epps it's literally like, on my screen. It's like, and I'm oh, saying, I don't like this guy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, fuck this yeah. guy. He must work for the federal well, police. Like, I always thought there was like this weird jealousy because, you know, like we were talking before the yeah. show too. It's like, Worski literally wanted to fuck yeah. my ex, Ashton uh, Birdbrain, while I was dating her. And it's like... What kind of nigga wants to fuck your bitch while you're dating her? Yikes! Well, it's like, almost like I mean, what? the real attractive part for him <laughs> was having oh. a piece of yoba. Yeah, not it's, it's like a it's like a cuck fantasy, dude. Straight it's up, like, what the fuck? Warsky, this guy's sick. Andy Kuckski, he's a sick fuck, dude. It's like it's what fucking the fuck? crazy? He wants to fuck bitches. They already got the doba. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, you're getting doba sloppy seconds, oh, my nigga. I, are you sure you want to dip in that? Like, I, like, I Plus, don't know, man. You know what's... 
crazy is actually I look about oh. I look yeah. like upon the things they try to run you uh, out of town on. Yeah. I look upon the things that uh Queen El Casino is is featuring. Yeah. And it's like this shit is not even real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's not even accurate. Even when fan they fuck with you. Yeah, farms. it's fan thick farms, like it literally yeah. is. Yeah. Like it's not a joke. No, I, I like, know, that's like, acts of the truth. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you we, the truth. We've been, like, hanging out here, fucking, you know, we grab steaks, five-star days, and all that shit. We're, we're literally hanging out. Lowell's just came into town. We're fucking kicking it. We we got a new couch. Like, uh, re- really cool story. I got a couch on fucking Craigslist or whatever. I, like, Ralph pulls in at, like, what, 8, 9 in the morning. Super Bad early. Bad, yeah. I was in bed. I'm like, fuck, let me get up and shower. <laughs> And then I'm like, hey, Ralph, sorry. I know you just got here, but can you help me get a couch? He put my fat ass to work <laughs> immediately. Hey, yeah, uh, hey, had to. So, you know, Lowell's Lo- <laughs> leg doesn't work. So I'm like, hey, can you help me get a new couch? He's like, sure. So we we rent a U-Haul truck, go up, get the couch. This shit was heavy as fuck. Dude, I literally, like, it, it was, was so fucking, heavy. The undercarriage oh. was like solid steel. Yeah. Like, it was. We got, we got a full workout, like, full squat workout, and. No, but I, I appreciate it. You know, he's a homie. Now we have he's a nice great. leather couch recliner in the living room. We're fucking, we're just, you know, it's just bros being bros, hanging out for a couple of days and all these fucking bad actors. And, you know, Chaggett talks about this even. He's he like, does. and he's right. Like they attack, uh, people love to attack male friendships. Just, you know, it's true. Bro, bros well, being you know bros. What? They're like, oh, that's gay. Look at, they're on a date. It's like, <laughs> What? You know what? Nigga, Shagging, what? Uh, uh, Shagging, of course, is a, yeah. an acquired taste. We don't and agree so on def- everything. <laughs> right. I won't, I won't defend everything he's ever yeah. said. 13, but, 18, yeah. but he's right with what he said with that, right? Yeah. It's like, no, oh, what, what is it a big deal? Because you went out and ate something? Yeah. Like, that's fucking retarded. <laughs> the whole point when I saw yeah. Warsi's tweet, I was like, what do you mean? We just went out and steak. What the fuck yeah. is your problem? Like I, I think they're jealous would say we're something uh, like that. eating, you know, really nice Of course they are. What do you think he's eating? Mild mac and macaroni. Cheese, yeah, asparagus, yeah. like bomb it. margaritas and all this that. Iced tea. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it, it's Honestly, absolutely you know insane. what? I thank God, and I don't just say this lightly, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Right. That um, me, you, Nick, Cozy, like we all right. united. I think we yeah. all complement each other. Definitely. Uh, definitely. In, in, in honesty, in all honesty. Yeah. Um, and it's been great. It's been great for my bank account, but it's also been <laughs> yeah. great for just like, look, man, I've been around for a while, and there are some people who I I would have thought were my brothers, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I would have thought would would go to the ends of earth. With, yeah, me. Yeah. with me, with no, me, not for me, not for me, with me. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't the case and it fucked up my mind a lot. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you people. Like it was really tough mm-hmm. to get through that type of betrayal. Yeah. It, it was hard. Um, and you know, you, Nick, not, and and again, I was always cool with you. Well, not always, but uh, but <laughs> yeah. you know, I was already cool with some of these people. You and we've been and cool we, for a couple of years, right? We yeah. we'd already been easing tensions yeah. and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. it actually, this whole thing changed my life. Um, yeah. And you see the things that that Medicare and and others are saying versus just mm-hmm. reality based people. Yeah. And They're even coming after your children. Yeah. And all it's sorts like of man. Weak- you know, petty shit. And again, me and you don't talk every day. Me and Nick don't talk every day. It's right. not like, you know, I don't want to make it bigger than it is, but yeah. it it really was a huge deal to me uh, because there were people trying to snuff me out, quite yeah. frankly. Um, and if Nick, if you, if others had went along with it, mm-hmm. it would have worked. Yeah. Um, and it, it just took those few people to say, you know what? Fuck you. No, you know what? <laughs> You're wrong. Fuck yeah. you. Um, and it meant a lot and it still means a lot. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, you're, you know, you're the Ralph Amell, you're our boy. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, like we don't, you know, talk every single second, but it's like, you know, we all have our shows. I think you're totally right. <laughs> like we all like compliment each other in a good way. We, we found a great home here on cozy. Thanks to Nick True. and the, you know, the developer team at cozy and, it, and it's, the sky's it's the limit, great. babe. Yeah. Honestly, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Really? I mean, I don't just say this lightly. But you, and, and of course, you know, you can nitpick here and there, but like you look at Cozy compared to anything else a year on. Yeah. And it's big. Yeah. It's really big. Oh, it's and gross. you know what? It would be even bigger without the 
slander. <laughs> but it's yeah. going to be, that shit is going to, yeah. sl- look, dude, that shit is going to shed yeah. because I'm a tabloid god. <laughs> and I Let's know go. how it goes. Yeah. And that shit is going to fall by the wayside because there's no truth to it. Yeah. Right? So, you know, it'll get traction for a week <laughs> or two yeah. or even a month. But it's not going to last long term. And I am so psyched. Uh, and, and, and again, yeah. it, it's different because I've worked with so a, how, lot, a lot of how people. How did you, sorry to cut you off, how did you it's fine. become this tabloid guy where it's like, I agree. I mean, you know what? Like, like the pacing of your show, like I admire so much. I like, I'm trying to study it because it's like, you know exactly how to reel it in. Fall into it. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Like, like how were, were you like fascinated with TMZ yes, as a kid? Or absolutely. What, what yeah. um, and I'll tell you this, and I've talked about this on my show, but I have been a student of tabloidism my whole life. Oh, wow. To be quite okay. honest with you. Yeah. Um, and again, that's not necessarily like, a golden shining moment <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. because tabloidism is, is like decrepit garbage. Uh, yeah. but I've always enjoyed that to be quite honest. With but you. I, I feel like you have like, you know, added, like yeah. I said, some integrity little, over the added, years, you yeah. know, it's no, like, you know what? You're, you're, you're right. Yeah. Like I'm glad you said that because yeah. when I first started, I didn't really <laughs> care that much. Yeah, and about, that's why I was saying I wasn't yeah. a fan. Cause I was like, Whoa, dude. And, yeah. and I, I think, no, you're you know, right. maybe you made some mistakes. You learned some lessons. I'll tell you like, what it was. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened was. Right. So when I first started, um, I was a little more loose with what I promoted, right? Like, yeah. it just might be whatever somebody sent me right. or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And just say the bare minimum not to get sued or or, mm-hmm. or what have you. Um, but as it as it has went along, um, I, I maybe it's the fields of play that I'm participating in. But I, but I would tell you that um, that really doesn't hold as much traction. Yeah. Um, you know, what would hold more traction is this is this person. This is why they're mad. Yeah. This is why they're bullshitting. Uh, rather than just, you know, blocking somebody or deleting yeah. their account or something like that. Right, right, doesn't right. really... Uh, doesn't really hold as much weight as, but but you know what? I say that, and then it's like, well, I'm doing every single thing for my business. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. so it, it's kind <laughs> of a whole complete, yeah. like, well, and like you operation. have a real, like, actual show now because yeah, you didn't at the like, beginning. Uh, like, you've had some big motherfucking guests. Like, what would you say is like? I don't know your. I mean, of course, me. But biggest <laughs> what, guess. What? No, what's your? Yeah, biggest. Your favorite guest. What's your favorite episodes of Killstream? Um. <laughs> You know what? It's really, it's kind of a tough question because, I mean, the obvious answer is the Monday Matt uh, yeah. episode. But you know what? I look back yeah. at that episode and I can't hardly stand to watch it because um, <laughs> just about everybody in the yeah, episode. Yeah, I, I know you, like, you had you know all I mean? these it's people like, backstab you. I mean, it's, I still, you know, it's still a moment. Like, yeah. I don't I don't renounce it. But it, in terms of things that I really love, yeah. that's not one of the episodes, to be honest with yeah. you. I, I per, Like, if it was up to me, I personally love the Tux episode. Dude, I love that. <laughs> like, yes. I know that's a more recent one, but, like, you, like, you and Bibble, bro, like, I, I you know what? How I, how is that not like that should be the biggest fucking low cow of the century? He fucked his sister and all this crazy Nate shit. Barrett I'm is. like, whoa. Yeah, he, he was connected with Medicare and Fagmenko and all that's those right. fuckers. So they buried this shit. No, I think that's almost like worse than Chris Chan. Like that's like that's on like crazy <sighs> levels, you know. Of course, Chris Chan is a thing of its own, but that was nuts, bro. Dude, they and buried like, it. Yeah. And look, if it had been you or anybody else, like, oh it doesn't even matter. Like, it yeah. would have been like the you know Non-stop, case of the century. Wall to wall coverage. Yeah, they're all full yeah. of shit. It yeah. makes me it makes me annoyed because, like, I mean, obviously, I know they're lying. So yeah. I, I guess I have, and I shouldn't say this publicly, but I've said it before. I have an Achilles heel and Achilles heel, <laughs> uh, and and yeah. it is. Like just complete lies. Like that that yeah. is my Achilles heel because yeah. it just drives me crazy. Like it's like, okay, well this person's just making up shit. It's yeah. completely obvious that they're making up shit. <laughs> but yet they can they still make up shit. So What's your favorite cigar? Because I know you're a big cigar guy. Uh, um, I, I, I saw you smoking one earlier. What, my favorite cigar, I will say uh, my favorite cigar um, as of now would be a punch punch and it's a uh, Cuban cigar. Do you have one to show? By chance? Um, one I just that? smoked it earlier. Okay. I have a Romeo and Julieta 
that I could show. That's okay. that's a number two. That's a pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good cigar too, as well. Okay. So, Wait, and, and what's your favorite uh, tequila? Because uh, Casamigos, Casamigos, for sure. yeah. yeah, for sure. And and you like your drink is gonna be the Cadillac Margarita, I'm guessing. Cadillac <laughs> Margarita is yeah. my thing, and yeah. and I got put on that because I was in Vegas and uh, one of my many trips in Vegas the last year, and I was I was standing in line to see Ron White. Oh right, yeah, he's a, comedian. He's a famous comedian. Yeah, and I loved him, you know, since I was a kid. And um, I was standing in line with this guy, and he was there with his son and some other college friends and stuff. And he said, "Hey, you want a Cadillac Margarita?" And I said, "Yeah." And literally, I'm not kidding. By the way, it was, <laughs> it was like this yeah. big, dude. Yeah, uh, and it was just full of. It was a Cadillac margarita, like right. how you would expect it to be made, which I didn't <laughs> know before that time, but yeah. it was just full of like What is your, like, craziest, do you have, like, a crazy, maybe, uh, either, like, a story in jail or a story of you getting really drunk and, like, like I, I want to hear a story you've never told on there. Do you have anything for us? I have... Come on. I do. <laughs> I, I do. I, I will no say... No judgment. No judgment. <laughs> A story that I've never told on air. Yeah. Okay, let me think. So, for for one thing, people don't understand. Um, you could be well off or you could have money. It doesn't really matter in jail. Yeah. Um, do you have money on your boat? Do you have money on your phone? Like, that's yeah. what... And, and the book and the phone are the same thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so, like, that's what matters. And uh -huh. so, this whole thing of I'm an upstanding and a white guy, <laughs> part of society... That's not what flies in jail. You need to have your money in order. You need to have your commissary in order. And you need to just be friendly with as many people as you can. Yeah. Right? Like, that's how it goes, to be quite, <laughs> quite frank with you. And and, and and also, to be quite frank, uh, most people in there are trying to get out. Yeah. And so, most aren't going to try to, like, stab you or kill you right. or anything like yeah. that. But. Still, you need to be respectful of your. Did you ever get any fights in yes. jail? You did not fight, uh, yeah. but almost. The only almost. reason I didn't get into <laughs> fights is because my friend was, you know, he did twenty years in federal mm. prison, and yeah. people were worried they might get killed if they fuck with me. So, <laughs> um, but th but yeah, I mean, but for the most part, that only happened once in eight months. You know yeah. what I mean, like. No, and I had a friend, you know, that's that's part of it. But, like, it really wasn't a thing. Like, Were you in, like, a think. gang or anything? No, I mean. <laughs> no gangs. I mean, I was cool with them. Are you, you complete the fifth, too. Yeah, wor <laughs> workout gang, I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, nothing crazy. His thing was he would come after people if they if they signed up to workouts and they didn't show up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or they just said, fuck it. He, he would actually start fucking with people. Yeah. Like, so it was kind of a workout gang, to be honest with you. Like if I was to have quit, mm -hmm. he would have started fucking with me. <laughs> right. Like, I'm not kidding. Like he yeah. would have started like ostracizing me and fucking with me. So like, yeah, yeah it was, it was kind of like that to be honest. It's fucking crazy. Uh, people are saying you lost a toe. Is that true? No. Oh, <laughs> no, I have all my is that like a, is that more fan fiction? I guess. No, I have all my toes. <laughs> all your toes, all, all ten of them. All my, all ten, ten toes ten. down. <laughs> yeah. Ten toes down. Tommy Wright, baby. Yeah. Memphis ten. Tommy Let's Wright, go. baby. Let's they don't know up. anything about, about that. Um, what about like, you know, we we talk about five star days, food. Mm -hmm. Like you're a big food guy. You like the sandwich. What, what are you into for like, like sandwich. if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what are you going to eat? Sandwich. What kind? Sandwich. Cuban or uh, what are you doing? So, you know what? I love steak, by the way. Yeah. And of course we ate steak last night yeah. and I love steak. But medium I, but rare, of course. Yes. Medium yeah. rare. There's no other option. Yeah. yeah you can't. There's do no other well. option. Come but on. I will say this. A steak guy. <laughs> I love steak. Yeah. I just don't. Th there needs to be a medium rare side option. I, yeah. I, I don't know. Like medium rare is kind of my option to be yeah. honest. You, and what about the sides? You like potatoes, mac and cheese? I like spinach and potatoes, but uh, they they could, you know, change depending on what the. So we, for instance, we went yes. to a hotel called Fenway. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, we saw the fireworks show. Hey, can I just say by the way, Happy Fourth of July, everybody! I forgot. I like. I I just forgot it was Fourth of July. Um, let's see. Ralph has lost a ton of weight. Yeah, yeah. No, you really have. Like when I when I uh, when he came in from the airport, 
I took an Uber out here. Literally, first thing I said, I'm like, damn, bro, you lost weight. Like, I can tell in person a lot. And uh, Well, he had seen me before yeah, in person. Yeah. yeah, you were a lot bigger before, and you lost a lot of weight. So it's like, bro, I, I hope you keep losing weight. I'm going to keep losing weight. We fucking stunt on these haters. Yo Fit, Ralph of Fit, you know, whatever. Maybe, you know, we'll have our own fitness brands Dude, one day. Dude, that would you know? drive them crazy. Are you kidding? <laughs> Dude, Imagine. that would absolutely drive See, them fucking insane. So that's insane. why it's like... Ever since I was a kid, like, and tell me, you know, you can tell me if you relate to this. I lived a life where everyone fucking doubted me, bro. Everyone laughed at me. Like, I was bullied in school, but I was also, I, t- I turned into a bully because I was bullied when I was younger. And I was like, fuck this. So then I, I kind of turned into the bully because I was like, I'm not going to be bullied anymore. But everyone always, including my parents, my family, it's like they always wanted me to work in the medical field and like be a doctor because that's like what my whole family does. And I'm like, no, I want to like do acting and music and entertainment and make movies. And no one believed me. Like everyone just la- I-, I said, like, I want to, you know, be a famous movie star or rapper or whatever. Right. They- everyone laughed at me. I grew up in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. Didn't know a fucking soul, dude. Didn't know a fucking soul. But the people that didn't believe in me. They're what fucking motivated me, dude. Right. And I moved to Hollywood, and I end up working with Post Malone. Uh, you Bulletin know, all, board all material. These, yeah, yeah, all these huge Hollywood stars I, you know, actually influenced and collaborated with. And, and you know, so many stories. Obviously, you know, big tech has memory hold a lot of that, so people don't even know about a lot of this shit because I don't even have my verified Twitter, blah, blah, blah. But, like... Was that the same for you? Like, people didn't believe in you, and you used that as a source for motivation? I will say that um, my main motivation throughout my life has been people saying you can't do it. Yeah, um, that's and real. And so, real. you know, the whole, and again, yeah, I'm, so a, Mike, like, I'm a Michael the Jordan haters, fan. right? <laughs> well, well, I will say yeah. this. I'm a Michael Jordan fan. Yeah. Um, and Fuck I yeah. was before. You he know, he didn't make Zimmers, his high school basketball no, team, he by didn't. the way. Yeah. Not only that, not only yeah. did he not make his high school basketball team, but yeah. he also looked for reasons to be pissed off. Right. Basically, he, he, would, he, would, <laughs> he would look through the yeah. media. He would, he would look through the text <laughs> and, like, make up reasons to be mad. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, this fucking cocksucker. Yeah. Like, that. That's how I am, to be yeah. honest with you. Um, True and, alpha male energy. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> feel like... I mean, yeah. you know, if it completely warps your brain, yeah, maybe. But yeah. it's it's a healthy conversational piece, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, this fucker sitting here <laughs> saying all this shit, yeah. <laughs> right? It's like, okay... Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah, okay. Let, let's let's kick it off. Well, you know, usually most of them are fake, um, but I, I do I do sympathize with that. Where it's like, oh, here's this guy. Okay, yeah, yo. fine. Oh, by the way, yo, uh, shout out unpleasant Alex and chat. He said, baked, I got you guys tomorrow night. Boom. Best sandwiches you'll ever have. Oh, at- shit. Okay, I'm not even going to say coming? the name. Let's go. By the way, is she hey. coming? Hey, I, I don't have... Um, Alex, you got to hit up Ralph because I was banned from Instagram, so I have no way of contacting you. Um, so hit up Ralph. Yeah, we should grab sandwiches. Dude, let's hey, go. What, what do you think about me? What, maybe doing a special, I don't know, Worski aim, aim, aim special what? this week. <laughs> Whoa! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> because, hey, chat, I don't know if you guys know, but the whole aim, aim, aim story, the guy holding the gun, that's Alex, who we're going to get, you know, grab some sandwiches with tomorrow. So... You know, we might have to bring him in for a show on the kill stream. We're going to do a show tomorrow night. Yeah, let's fucking go. That's gonna. You know what? Warski says a piece of shit. You know, I I I was sent (laughs) a a picture of my daughter. What this morning? No. Yeah, and she was she was cozy, rosy, of course, and she was looking. She was looking great, looking looking cozy, and then I thought about. Andy Worski <laughs> and how he could have sent out any picture wow. of his child except that he had them murdered on his own order. <laughs> so it's kind of, oh, can we show? No. Oh, no. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, no. He had oh, her. no. Uh, and wait, and he's posting pictures of your child. Yes. What the fuck? Cozy yes. Rosie. Hey, Cozy we, Rosie. we love Cozy Rosie, by the way. And big props. 
Big props to you for, you know, being a father and Thank you. You know, taking care of that By the shit. way, can I say this? Because, yeah. um, you know, obviously I do a studio show. We do right. the daytime show. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I have to travel around and, you know, it is what it is. I don't enjoy being away from my woman and my daughter right. because they're like the best people I know. Yeah. Um, but it, it is a hard thing to do, to be honest. So I, yeah. I don't want to minimize it. Yeah. Like, it, it sucks. But yeah. also, like, when you see faggots just using it as an attack line, it's like, well, I'm a, I'm at work, right? Yeah. Like, we're actually doing things, doing cool shows. Yeah. It does get annoying. Well, like, I, I also want to, like, obviously we're going to go over this more, like, sure. this week on the Kill Stream. But it's like, I want people to realize Andy Worski told a man to shoot another right. fucking Kill man. Them. Kill them. And this guy, Alex, who we're going to have on in studio in Clearwater this week, he, thank God, he has a fucking brain and he didn't do it because Andy wouldn't have, go, I mean, Andy would go to jail well, as well. Andy's a retard. He, he would blame somebody else. Yeah, yeah like, he, he would have put that guy in jail for thank life. Thank God Alex thank didn't God, kill him because yeah. his life would be over. Yeah, uh, straight up. Yeah, so. period. Yep. Damn, this has been... Uh, Let's see. This has been an amazing, amazing first episode. Uh, let's give it up again for Ethan Ralph, let's guys. Go! I think I think it's time. I think we're going to get into the Super Chats here soon. Uh, make sure to send in if you have a question for Ralph. We're going to play all the Super Chats. Powerchat.live slash Baked Alaska. I'm going to try to do at least uh, one, probably one Yobacast per week, have an in-studio guest. Um, I believe we're going to have John Miller coming in next week, so... Let's go. Let's go in the studio. We're going to get, you know, and it's it, it's a podcast where we have some fun. You know, it's not so serious. Come in, drink some beers, relax, you know, right. do what you want to do. Because, you know, there's some boring podcasts like Tim Pool and, you know, they're so serious. It's like, nah, I, my goal for Yobacast, we bring people in the I'll studio. I'll make Tim Pool's bitch come. Yeah, we, what's we have high production. We Lofty have Pixels, <laughs> what's your name? Lofty Pixels? I don't know. I'll make her come on my dick. Oh! Oh shit! Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. But yeah, me. Either. That's funny. Um, last question here, and then we're gonna move over to the super chats, powerchat.live slash baked Alaska. Also, make sure you're following the cozy channel, MTM D85. Thank you for the follow. Okay, Ralph, I know you're a big music guy. I, I gotta say, I love the music that not only you put on the show, but your fans donate on the sunrise, the kill stream. You have a great music taste. What are some of your all-time favorite bands? Songs? Uh, yeah, okay. whether it's a okay. rap group. Okay. Or, yeah. um, I know you like Juicy J. Like you're talking about, okay, everything. so if we're talking about, yep. so first off, we're talking about everything. Yep. Juicy's Mafia, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Rolling Stones. Okay. Um, Pink Floyd. All right. Um, we're talking about bands all the time. A yeah, um, everything, yeah. Okay, Rappers, Beatles. bands, yeah. Beatles, throw them in. Yeah. Uh, Wu Tang Clan, throw them in. Yep. Um, if we go too further than that, I really have to start thinking. <laughs> though. Um, yeah. I, I guess the Beatles throw them in too. Although I, I consider the, the Beatles Rolling twice. Stones. Let's go. Oh, did I say it twice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, say, I, I, I consider <laughs> no, the I'm Rolling Stones about. higher than the Beatles. I, I guess we, we do a little, we do a little day drinking I, in Tampa. I, yeah, it's oh, true. It's, it's seven p.m. I know? consider the, I consider <laughs> the Rolling Stones higher than the Beatles. Wow. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ted I just Nugent. They're, they're, they're saying Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. Um, I guess. And so then all, I mean, if we're going all time, I mean, yeah. that's kind of like, <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, large category Guns and Roses and. Oh uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we could. We well, could like, go deeper. and I like that you have like you know I, I, I'm a little more into rap and stuff but I feel like you really have this you know rock star energy to you like just don't give a fuck and that's why I like the rock that you play it, it really matches your energy it's that, that Ralph Amin yeah, energy and you I'm know? glad you said that because <laughs> you know I want something that fits what we're doing and yeah. obviously you know uh, kind of the mentality of what I've been doing is <laughs> fuck you, basically. Yeah, um, so, rock star shit. So yeah. it does fit, but also you, you know, are you, you are, are a true rock star, Ralph. Like I want you Thank to know you. that. Like like listen, I'm a rock star. You're a rock star. These these people like 
Right, guess what? Rock stars have stalkers. They have people that are obsessed with them. John Lennon was That's literally exactly right. killed by a fan. Listen, we are the modern rock stars, and they are seething because they're little faggots that don't leave their house. They don't do anything cool. They don't look good. They're not funny. We are the modern motherfucking rock stars, bitch. Dude, it's right here. It's 100% Yoba, true. Ro Yoba and y Ralph Amell in the studio, bitch. Dude, it's not even, look, and of course it's fun yeah. and we're talking shit, but like yeah. it's not really a joke no, at all. No, it's not. Because yeah. you, you look at it and, and you look at even Banks, what, what he's put together, <laughs> and, and, you know, a few yeah. weeks. Like, Thank you. Um, like these people are a joke. Yeah. Um, and they want to see people like me, people like Banks, people like Nick, people like cozy streamers in general. They want us dead. Shut them down. Straight. They yeah, want us in prison. Want. Yeah. Yeah. And again, they have that capability. Yeah. You know, if, if you don't support, if you don't, and this, again, it's not like <laughs> empty your paycheck or empty yeah. your salary, um, but that's what they're going for, yeah. right? Shutting yeah. us down, shutting Cozy down. Yeah. Um, and so the support of both those things are important. I mean, yeah. there's just no other way around it. Yeah, well, you truly are a rock star, man. Like, I don't, I don't say that lightly. I don't just, like, tell anyone that you're a fucking rock star. You're on the same league with me. We're, you know, we, we really... And I do appreciate, like, you've been an inspiration. We've been tag-teaming the shows with the Sunrise, Wake and Bake, now the Yoba Cast, the Killstream. It's fucking dope, dude. It, it, like, me and you have a, not, I, I don't want to say a similar style, but, like, we, we go back and forth pretty well. I think so. And I, I like that a lot. So, with that being said, the last question I do have for you is, what can people be excited about for the future of the Sunrise and the Killstream and the whole Ralph Mail brand. Like, can you give us a sneak peek? Any events coming up this year? What are you, are you boxing Boogie? What's going on? <laughs> so I, I did actually agree to box Boogie. Let's go. Whether that happens or not. I think that would uh, be great. I'll actually put him in the hospital. So, <laughs> so I hope it happens. Like, yeah. That's not even a big yeah. claim, by the way. He's actually, you know, <laughs> just a bum. But yeah. um, I, I think Ralph that, Mania, uh, is that happening? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, so I won't say no because yeah. that's still a plan, but also it's kind of hard. Like the logistics of these events right. are a little bit tough. And so it's not that I've quit thinking about them or, or we're not going to do them. It's more of I'm moving at the same time and like let me get settled and then we'll right. figure it out. Um, I, I think the whole – I think that I understand this better than almost anybody <laughs> in this sector, to yeah. be honest. Um, and, and you look at uh, what people's putting certain value on. Yeah. Um, and I don't, to yeah. be quite honest with you. And so... I mean, I think you could pull it off. It would cost a lot of money, you know, and... Well, that's the it, thing. You have to make sure you have the tickets in. Insurance. It's not impossible yeah. at all. And it's something me and you have talked about and others. Yeah. Um, but it just has to be done by the book, basically. And also, there are certain tiers of tickets and yeah. and, and this and that. But um, I 1,000% want to put on another live event. Hell yeah. This year. Hell yeah. If yeah, not, definitely next year. So. Well, all right, that's going to conclude. looks like we've gone for 90 minutes. Uh, that's going to co conclude the interview portion. We're going to get to the Super Chats. I just want to say, again, thank you so much, Ralph, for coming on the YobaCast first episode. You, Absolute legend. This has been incredible. This, is, <laughs> this has been so fun. So thank you, dude. Um, so let's go through these Super Chats. I'm going to try to hopefully do the trick here and see if it... Uh, Oh, nothing played, so I what? think I'll just go manually. Well, that's actually better. It um, is, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and and like I said, if you if you guys want to do a, uh, you know, have a question for Ralph or for me, send them in. I'm trying to. What is today? Wait, what is today? Monday. Monday the fourth. Okay, I'm trying yeah. to find all these donos here. Yo, Yoba! Yo, there we go. Black Swan sent fifteen dollars. I'm in the same boat as Ralph. Thank you. I first heard about Yoba during the Blood Sports era. There we go. Didn't have a high opinion of Baked until I met him at Nick's event in Miami. There we go. You know We've what? We've been friends ever since. You know what? Love you guys and keep up the great Mute work. Mute that for a sec. Yeah, yeah. Mute that for a sec because um, I was the same way. Like, yeah. we we talked and and you were good to me. Like there was no reason, but also like. 
you know, right after he got out of, the j- out of jail, Medicare's like, fuck this guy and make mm-hmm. it a big thing. But when you actually get to talk to you, yeah. not only are you better than most people, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, just well, a good I, feeling. I feel like, like I'm just like a normal ass yeah, person, you know? Right. Like, it's just a normal guy. Like, like it's you know, crazy. I, 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 listen, I come from Alaska. We call it Northern hospitality. It's yeah. like, it's basically sort of like Southern, but it's just a little different. And so it's like, Oh my gosh, the way I was raised, we treat people with so much respect. We make sure people are good. Like, like I have to make sure someone else is having fun if they're at my house and make sure they have everything or else I feel like shit. Well, that's, dude, that's just how I was raised. Well, dude, people wouldn't even believe, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they wouldn't even believe. But that's just they, normal. Like, I don't, they're I don't want anything for it. Like, Nick's told this story, too. He'll be like, oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> I, I barely knew Yoba, and I came over to his house, and, yeah. like, he was a great host. I, that, I, yeah. I do that to people that I don't even barely know because that's just how I was raised. Right. And then if you are loyal to me, oh, my gosh, I, I go above and beyond, you know. So, but at the same time. You know, it's like if I am friends with you, I expect you to be loyal back. Sure, of course. course. But you know, I, I was raised regardless to you know treat people with kindness and all that. I guess I, it just blew my mind compared to. And again, I'm not throwing any, anybody on yeah. the bus or whatever, but like compared to these some of these others, it's like oh okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is great. Uh, yeah, you know, and it, it goes a long way to just you know treat people like human beings sure. and. Be empathetic to, you know, what they have right. going on. Making sure they're comfortable. Not everything is super chat yeah, material. I, I, I yeah, mean, yeah, it goes yeah. back to the Bible. It's like, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. Because if you have ever been at a house and it's hot and you don't have, you know, water. And, you know, sure. you, you're like, oh, damn, that sucks. So it's like you, you want to treat people how you want to be treated 100%. So. I agree. Yep. All right. Keep going here. Hopefully they keep playing. Let's see. Um. Yo, yo! There we go. There we go. Maxi Abro sent ten dollars. Vagminko seal court records. Oh just no! Today. Oh no! It was a person he no longer want to fight. Oh, oh no! Yo, yo! Thank you, thank you. The inside man sent three dollars. Worski used to oh, brag no. about having Ashton's number oh, and trying no. to get her I don't think yeah. he was really successful because he would have either. bragged about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let let me. I'll give you a little inside baseball on that. So, Ashton. <laughs> Exclusive here on the Yobacast. Ashton actually showed me the fucking, like, he was texting her while we were dating. While we were, you know what I mean? You know, we were, you know, you know, like, like, we're like in bed basically, and, and, and Worski is trying to hit on her. She would, (laughs) like, she would just laugh and be, and like, she's like, Worski is so ugly. Like, I can't believe this motherfucker keeps trying to flirt with me. I mean, he's a total snake. Like, it's like, imagine, you know, you're fucking some, it's your girl, and like, I don't want that. No, that's your, that's called bro code, dude. It's called, you don't fuck your bro's girl. Right, that's gross. That. Yeah. That's disgusting. I don't want to fuck a, a girl that's been with my bro. What the what fuck? What do you think? You think Lulz would have to tell you, oh, that's oh, my girl? Oh, no. No, like, what, you, you already yeah, knew. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just common courtesy. Yeah, bro. it's like, okay, you no, know, nah, I'm these good. These people are fucking retarded, bro, and, and they're they're sick. They're sick people, so yeah. I, I mean, I kind of figured that there was more to that too. Like I know you told me a little bit uh, before the show. Yeah. Yo, yeah. yo, let's go. Thank you. Mitchell sent five dollars. Love you, niggas. I first discovered the Ralph Amali when Nick went on the kill stream with Bibble about him yo. being detained. Yoba, nice. That's yo, like, thank you. Yoba. Thank you so much. Joey Joe Joe sent five dollars. Lamau, I saw Medicare's retarded tweet about you having AIDS. <laughs> going to that <laughs> right. This is the same nigga uh, whining that he will literally die if he touches grass. Dude, yeah. I, I Ralph saw... Ralph Maniac slash New Yoba Order Alliance, what a timeline. Thank you for saying that because I saw that and I was like, how yeah. is this even funny? Like, it's right. just it's just some dumb shit he made up. Like, AIDS, by even... the way. Yeah, AIDS. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is that the punchline? Like, because... <laughs> Why? Because Alice sucked your dick? Yeah, it doesn't even matter. You can't catch AIDS for sucking... Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's retarded, All let right. me say. Yeah. A lot of fan fiction yeah. coming out, but okay. Yo Yoba Thank you. Cag Mike sent three dollars two legends coming together. Yes! You should do a weekly show together moving forward. Hey, we might not Yo, be right. Yoba. Yo, thank you. Thank you so Congrats on the premiere. Thank you so much. Oh, seven King. I appreciate it. Yo, Yoba. Anonymous sent three dollars. General Zoomer said, I can't miss the first Yoba cast. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Wait, is it broken? It's not no, too I, bad. It's I think it's okay. working. It's doing okay. It breaks sometimes. No, I think it's working fine. It's still um, good. It's still good. We're just sort of... Well, we're doing like a method where I have to... We talked about Make them disappear. Yeah. Yo, See, yo. They come uh -oh. through. Anonymous sent $3. General Zoomer. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> what happened to your hand? Allergic reactions to a ring? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yo, yo. Paul Town is up. EXL sent $3. Paul Town takeover. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, what happened to So, hand? I don't know. Um, you might be allergic I, I to I think they're talking about ring. this. Yeah. I think they're talking about this. I have like a $20,000 ring oh. that I usually wear. Oh, I didn't so wear it on vacation because uh, <laughs> I'll tell you why. For one, I'm allergic to metal. Oh, uh, spoiler shit. Alert. I'm allergic to metal, so only oh, like the finest quality wow. metals will not break yeah. me out. Um, and so even though it's it's an 18 karat gold ring with yeah. with like full carat diamonds, um, if I wear it without any respite, it'll it'll break out my oh, finger. Okay, that so makes sense. I left it at the house. So actually, just, your finger just gets like red. Yeah, I mean, my, it was my grandpa's no. ring. It's yeah, literally no, it's no, literally see, like a twenty thousand. That's a nice ass ring. I've yeah, seen that. and I didn't wear it because yeah. I just didn't. I didn't want to keep up with it. And, and it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, so, but, but the reason it makes my, my finger, so you can metal. see it. Yeah, yeah. You can see it. It's red. Yeah. Uh, it's because I'm allergic to metal. Basically. That's funny. Yeah. So that is funny. Um, maybe one day we'll have a method where we can do this a little smoother. I mean, it's not nah, too it's fine. bad. I'm yeah. okay with it. Don't worry about yeah. it. Roll so, it. They're coming through. Let's see. I'm going to have to do some of these manually. I think. Appreciate it though. Um, do, do, do. Uh, let's see. Yo, Yoba. Robok 4T sent $3.07. Ralph, you're a legend. Thank you. Yo, Yoba. EXL sent $10. <laughs> Maybe I'm dying with cancer and then they wonder what's Ralph doing right now. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that's. Like, how pathetic is that? It could you be know? me, man. I'm just going to be real. Yeah, it could be like, me. Oh, my God. Like, and that's the thing. It's like you're dying with cancer. You know, whether that's true or not, it's like clearly the dude has some issues. And it's like he has a wife and all, you know, she's not the best looking dude, wife. You could be doing anything. You could, you could be spending time with your family, focusing on whatever. It's like his whole, like, fucking, you're living rent free in that nigga's brain. Like 24 seven. He's broken. Insane. And I talked yeah. about this before. And the reason he's broken is because, um, all these motherfuckers <laughs> think they need to suck up to daddy Jim. And they <laughs> think that, um, yeah. Oh, if they said something to daddy Jim, yeah. they need to apologize for it. Well, you know what? I won't apologize for it. I hope <laughs> he dies. I hope his fat oh, fucking shit. gook wife dies. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about him or anything he's ever stood for because he's a phony faggot. That's why. Let's like, go. I, I, sit, I sit here with Bates. You know what? Yeah. Bank let me drive his fucking car around town. Hey. You know what? All these fucking no cocksuckers. And again, it's yeah. not like I was mistreating his car, you know. <laughs> I took care of it. Yeah. You know, I want to be honest. But, yeah. like, it's like all these people are full of shit. Yeah. Me, him, Nick, other people. Where's the root? All yeah. these dogs. Yo, like, yo. just regular people. Only sent $3 Hold wouldn't up. be the first time Worski tried exchanging <laughs> fluids with someone. Yeah, you know what? Oh, no. Fuck that guy. <laughs> That's the oh, thing. No. You know what? That's the thing, though. Like, it's no, funny, Lord. but also these people are despicable. Yeah. Because you look around, and we're just making shows. We're just doing stuff <laughs> like anybody else. But you look at what Worski did, what that fat dyke up north did, yeah. and you see that they're actually trying to dig into people's lives and trying yeah. to fuck them up personally. And you know what? Of course, you know, my mentality has always been the same, but... But these people are are fighting on that battlefield, and it's like fuck these people. Yeah. Like we're not even yo, doing anything that crazy. Yo, yo, yeah, absolutely. Anonymous sent ten dollars. What is this? Mic check. Oh, got a little song hey, here. Thank you. I'm fine with that. I'm your host, Ethan Ralph, the Gunt. Yo, so, uh, they, they play that. This is uh, this is uh, this MC Jarba. Cut it. Package. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. Is it like yo, yeah, yo? Cut just cut it. Yeah. Sent ten dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Raph is up to something I desperately need to know. <laughs> BTW reports the junior miss but never forgotten. Oh, no. That was another thing. Like, if I was legit up to anything, you would know about it anyway. But I, I don't even know what that means. No, I think they were fucking around. They were. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. 
All right. Well, let's see here what times it. So, okay, we're gonna wrap this up here, guys. We've been going for about two hours, unless. If any more Super Chats come <coughs> in the next few minutes, you know, we'll play those. Uh, PowerChat.live slash Baked Alaska. We appreciate it very much. Well, I appreciate it, but, you know, Ralph by proxy appreciates no, it. No, I do too. Yeah, I Yeah, you know, we, pre- hey, we appreciate the love. A lot, lot of fun, you know, comments. A lot of really, really kind comments today for both of us, you know, so we do appreciate it. True. But, okay, so after the show, I want you guys to know, you are doing the kill stream tonight, correct? Yeah, we're going to do something. Yeah. <laughs> something maybe, on the kill maybe, stream. maybe, let's see, yeah, like an so, hour. Or uh, yeah, what I had to pin at 8 or 8.30, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do something. Cover the shooting, maybe. Yeah, we're going to talk about the shooting. I have other things. Kiwi Farms deleting some posts. Oh, and, shit. and some other shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. We're ready to go. So it's absolutely going off tonight. Well, I'll let Ralph go here, and I'll do the outro. Thank you so much again, Ralph. Thank you. By the way, can I say yes. this? Put this back on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to say this to the camera. Yeah, say with, it. With no, I, you know, obviously my eyes fucked up because people broke my fucking eye socket. <laughs> uh, and yeah. so, you know, it's not as How's good. How's your eye doing, by the way? It's, it's fine Portugal. now. Yeah. It's, it's fine now, but... It, you know, it doesn't break my heart. I mean, literally, my face got broken in. So, oh, dude, you can't. Yo, Yoba. It is what it is. <laughs> Dalton Finnefelter sent three dollars. Oh, oh, no. uh, wait, no, you, so, you can't see it, but they're all clapping for you, and they're saying King Ralph. It's it's really, dude. It's it's like this season of the Yo, been Yoba. Thank you. Jeb sent five dollars. Happy fourth, my boy. Thank you, Jeb. I appreciate that. King, let's give Thank it up you. for King Ralph, guys. Absolute legend. <laughs> I will say, yeah, um, I, I, I will say the whole thing of, um, and of course, I, I feel like me and you were pitted against each other for yeah. no real reason other than, uh, you know, Jim Mediker wanted to get a kick out of yeah. his evening, right? Maybe he didn't want this matchup. He didn't no, want he us didn't. to unite. Maybe and that have was this it. Crazy energy. Yeah. But you look, but you look at it, and it's like. Nobody did anything wrong, really, right. or, or, or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't and do anything to you. Right, no, like you that. didn't either, right? Like, it's yeah. both sides. Like, it's just yeah. like, oh, this is this guy who wanted to set people against each other. Yeah. When if you if, just think about if that had turned out a different way, quite yeah. honestly, right? Oh, it like, could have been terrible. Yeah, <laughs> well, out, but, but it could have been beautiful, well. too, though, yeah. right? Like, it's like... I don't know. I just feel like this guy is a faggot who's afraid of his own footprint online. He's afraid of yeah. his own personality. He's afraid of his own fucking face. Yeah. Uh, and again, I understand that, right? It <laughs> is a different thing to be live right. online, yeah. but it's like this guy's a fucking faggot. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Um, I enjoyed tonight with you, and I Thank hope you. you enjoyed it too. And, yeah. And so I won't take too much time. I, I hope people had fun, and yeah. I'm gonna keep doing the kill stream and sunrise <laughs> yeah. and all that. So no, it, I, thank I'm you just so like, much. No, thank you again. Like, and I'll say this to you while you're still on camera. Sure. It's like I'm really glad we fucking did this because I know too. a lot of people didn't want this to happen. A lot of people said it could never be done right. or whatever. You know. We pulled it off. You came to t- and, and this is just the beginning. This first episode of Yobacast. Dude. You're going to be doing shows here all week. We're going to have fun. You got so much crazy future, you know, plans for the future. It, Dude, we're just amazing. getting started. Yeah. And, and the thing about it is, is, um, you know, some of the things, yeah, people didn't want me to fuck with bake <laughs> or whatever. But, yeah, like, right? but you look at, and again, I'm just speaking for myself, but, but you look at baked and you look at his operation compared to almost anybody else's and it's shit. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm just being real as shit. General Zimmer sent $3 poop. I, I'm not serious. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. That, that was good timing. <laughs> nah, dude, but, but like, I'm serious. Like you, you look at these other people and it's like, they talk a bunch of shit, but there's only a certain amount of people out here actually doing shit. Yeah. And baked is one of those people. And I really appreciate I, I just appreciate him. Thank you. Like, Minus all the dumb shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and he's he's been so kind to me when he didn't have to be. Thank you. Um, he could have taken that. a different stance. So thank you, Baked. I yes. appreciate you having me on. Of course, man. Thank you, brother. Later. Bye bye to Mr. Hey. Ethan Ralph Yoba. So I'm just gonna close out the show here. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been fucking supporting me. This is fucking legendary. This is historic. Ethan Ralph on the first episode of Yobacast. 
you know, the world's number one uncensored podcast. We do it a little bit different here. We have fun. We shoot the shit. It's uncensored. We don't give a fuck. Um, this has been so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with Wake and Baked after the sunrise. Uh, still doing sunrise, right? Yes, yeah, sunrise tomorrow for sunrise. sure. Unless I'm dead. Okay. Like, we'll have a sunrise <laughs> Nah, tomorrow. you'll be, you'll be good. You'll be good. <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah, no. Well, that's the other reason. We need you to lose weight, and I need to lose weight. We, sure. We got to be around for another 40, 50 you years. You know what I you said this I'm before? Um, yeah. I want to lose weight. I mean, it's, it's another generation of hate, to be honest with you. Right. Like, I, I want them <laughs> yeah. to live no, that. No, the, the, like, the, yeah. the, the better you look, the yeah. more you lose weight, yeah. the more they see you. I want to so use I that want that. as motivation. That's right. And I'm going to do that, too. All right. Thank you, Ralph. We we could we could honestly just keep going forever. <laughs> uh, we, we might we might have to, but you know it's I, I want to let them do the kill stream here. I I, I want to keep these about ninety minutes. You know, not have them be too long, but just so people can listen to the replay and enjoy a conversation you're not going to hear any anywhere else and all that. So I'll mute your mic there. Uh, but yeah, let me just say thank you to everyone in the chat. Uh, First commandment, CJ. Joker Ren, Conservative May, Literally Hitler, Tony Tegroiber, Dagtastic, Frank Oshevik, General Zoomer, Amsden, Going to Berlin. This was great. Thank you so much. Steady Feedy, I really appreciate it. Uh, Russell W., Panor, uh, Kanye Weist, York Hunt. What's up? He's right. Kanye oh, Weist. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awesome. Kaiser Rev, Sailor Cag, Organ Zoomer, Koki, Cygnus, Nuka Trupa, King Jake 250, Augmented Autist, going to Berlin. Let me, uh, man, there's so many, so many people. And, and make sure to follow, obviously, if you're not, you know, following the uh, cozy stream here. There's going to be many more Yoba cast to come. I'm going to try to get the guests in studio. We have confirmed. Yo, Yoba. Yo, thank you. Long way to Cypher sent $5. Happy 4th. Happy 4th. Thank you. Flip No Shade. Thank you for the follow. We love you, Bake. Love you, Dalton. Uh, Lord Steph, Zaka Louie, friend from Oregon, Adel Wolf, Jeb Hulk, Realistic Groiper, Hooky Pookie, Reich's Groiper, Maxi Bro, Flip No Shade, Yo, Dalton Yo. Felter, thank you. God Squad Respector sent $3. Yo. Code for Yabaskas <laughs> episode two. Thank you. Schnoz Gang. I would love to bring God him on. Squad. Thank you. Let's go. God Squad, yes. I love Zychotic. I'll definitely bring him on. Uh, not episode two. Episode two, we already have confirmed Episode two of the Yobacast is going to be this weekend. I'm not sure what day. And it, I can announce it here. Our second episode guest is John fucking Miller. Let's go. Yes, he gave me the N-word pass. We're going to have a great time. Novena, Indian Groiper, Lil Donnie, Franco Shevik, uh, Jamesus. So many people in here. Evan, Evan uh, Banana, trying to say these all right. Dalton Kleinfelter, Zwia Bull, Homo Trollius, Augmented Autist, Sushi with a Sword. Oh, man, too many people. King Laffy, Catholic Patriot 07, uh, Senvia Vero, Cornell Quesadilla 69. I think I got it. <laughs> pretty much everyone. PewDiePie, uh, Listen, Isis N., Desert Fox, Pooh Groiper, so many people in here. Guys, yo, yo. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. Jim Crow Groiper, White Gatorade, Ocean Nathan, Megazuna, Sasquatch 1969, a friendly Groiper. So much fucking support, guys. We had, we had almost 700 viewers here on the first episode. I really fucking appreciate it thank you guys so much for all the support we're gonna have the kill stream i don't know exactly when ralph put out a notification maybe in an hour so is that about right soon soon very soon uh yo has been told you dude thank you guys for such a cozy stream with me i want to say a quick prayer uh i just want to do an our father just because i like to say a prayer every stream our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as, yo, as it is in heaven. Yo, yo, Hold up. Man fading in the night sent $10. Let's it's go miss good. the show. Thank you. Congratulations, boss.
Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much for the love. Sorry, I'm going to start that over. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you so much. A Sunny D, Great British Groiper, Dank PP, Federal Agent 07, Realistic Groiper. I try to say everyone's name in chat, then I can because. Listen. Yo, yo. Yo, thank you. Congratulations Let's go. The cat. Thank you so much, CJ, for the 20. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Manny, Joe Schmo, user 53563. Listen, bodybuilder, the reason I say every motherfucking one of your names, Sonic Groiper, and I know not all the streamers do that, is because I appreciate each and every one of you I can't do this without you. You keep the Yoba cast alive. You keep Wake and Baked alive. I fucking love you guys. You're the fucking best ever. I love you so much. You're my brothers in Christ. You are with me on the battlefield for America first. Young Floppa, Jemmy, Tony T. Groiper. Everyone in here freaked it. User 137, Cheesy Tide Pods, Body Bag. I can't do this without you guys. And I'm just, I, I'm just I, I can't say enough how grateful I am for you. Like, you know, on the real. Thank you guys. Conservative May. We, we, we love you big. Thank you, Alex Jones. Yes, I love you too. So much. I know Ralph does too. And I wish everyone an amazing 4th of July weekend. Go! Let's go. It's going to be. It's going to be a good one. We're just getting started here. So with that being said, I'm going to sign out here. I am your host, Baked Alaska. This has been such a fun show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you tomorrow on Wake and Bake. Tune in to the Kill Stream tonight. Cozy.tv slash Ethan Ralph. Let's fucking go. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Don't turn me inside out from the inside I get a car for you after midnight I do a street fight I